We all know Meghan Markle as the actress who plays the role of Rachel Zane on Suits, but do you really know anything else about Prince Harry's soon-to-be wife? Lucky for you, we dug up some cool facts about her to give you a mini crash course dedicated to everything Meghan. Make sure to keep watching until the end to see if she plans to keep up her successful acting career once she becomes a royal. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more on your favorite celebrities. Now, here's 20 things you didn't know about Meghan Markle. Schooling Meghan Markle was born in Los Angeles on August 4, 1981. She went to a private primary school called Hollywood Little Red Schoolhouse, where Elizabeth Taylor was once a student. She was then enrolled into a prestigious all-girl Catholic high school that costs a hefty $16,000 a year to attend. When Meghan decided to pursue a degree in higher education, she attended Northwestern University in Illinois. She admits that she was a complete theater nerd in school but hated the idea of just being another cliché girl from LA who's trying to be an actress, so she chose to double major in both theater and international relations. Megan was also the first person in her family to graduate from college. Feminist we bet that you didn't know that Meghan has been advocating for women's rights since she was just a little girl. When she was only 11 years old, Meghan was shocked when she saw a dish soap commercial that ended with the tagline, Women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. She was so hurt by the sexist notion that women belonged in the kitchen that she went home and wrote a letter to Hillary Clinton. A media host even sent a camera crew over to Meghan's house to cover her outrage. A month later, the company in question actually changed the tagline from women to people. It was then that Meghan realized that the smallest action can still create positive change. Papa Markle If you've been wondering what influenced Meghan to pursue a life in the entertainment biz, look no further than her dad. Thomas Markle is a former television lighting director who's worked on shows like General Hospital and Married with Children. Meghan said that she often visited her dad on set when she was younger and was surrounded by famous actors and multi-million dollar budgets. Her father was so talented that he even won a daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Achievement in Lighting Direction for a drama series for his work on General Hospital back in 2011. Working on that series in particular was life-changing for Thomas because it was where he first met Meghan's mother, Doria. Mama Markle Meghan's parents were from two completely different worlds, which is what probably caused them to divorce when Meghan was only six years old. While her dad worked on fancy TV shows, her mother was a yoga instructor and a social worker. Doria Ragland used to take her daughter to visit the slums in Jamaica and Mexico to show her the harsh realities of the world. Meghan credits her mom for raising her to be a good global citizen and describes Doria as a free-spirited clinical therapist. It seems that her fiancé Prince Harry gets along great with Doria too. He he even once flew her out to Toronto so that she could join him and Meghan at the 2017 Invictus Games. Racism Did you know that Meghan Markle will soon be the first biracial person to ever marry a senior British royal? Growing up with a Caucasian father and an African-American mother, Meghan has dealt with issues of racism her entire life. Since she was a very pale-skinned baby, her mother was often confused to be her nanny by others. Meghan even once witnessed a stranger call her mom the N-word after she didn't pull out of a parking spot quick enough. Being biracial became even more difficult for Meghan in the acting industry. She could audition for any role because she was ethnically ambiguous, but she was never black enough for the black roles or white enough for the white roles. Lottery We know that we're not the only ones who thought that Meghan won the lottery of life once she became engaged to Prince Harry, but did you know that her father won the actual lottery back in 1990 when she was just nine years old? Meghan's half-brother was the one to reveal to the media that Tom Sr. had won an estimated $750,000 back in California. The sudden cash flow changed their lives forever and allowed Meghan to get the best possible training as an actress. Meghan must be carrying around a horseshoe at all times because her life seems to always be full of lucky events. From winning the lottery to marrying a prince, she's definitely living the dream. Divorcee Did you know that Meghan is a divorcee? She was actually married to film producer Trevor Engelson for almost two years. Meghan and Trevor had been together for six years before getting engaged but their irreconcilable differences tore them apart in the end. These two ex-lovebirds were married in a romantic ceremony in Jamaica and had their wedding celebrations take place over four days. Fox just greenlit a show produced by Trevor that follows the life of a man who must share custody of his child with his ex-wife. It sounds like a normal enough plotline, except for the fact that the ex-wife marries a British prince. Does that sound super familiar to you? Name change Did you know that Meghan is not really her first name? Her full name is actually 
Rachel Meghan Markle, but she probably thought that Meghan Markle made a better stage name. But what will she be called when she finally marries Prince Harry? Amongst the royal family, she will officially be known as Her Royal Highness Prince Harry of Wales. That's because only those who were born into the royal family can formally use the title of prince or princess, followed by their first name. However, royal experts speculate that Harry might soon take up the role of Duke of Sussex. This change in title would then make Meghan the Duchess of Sussex. Calligraphy did you know that Meghan Markle worked as a calligrapher before she made it big time as an actress? This suit star said that she developed a knack for cursive because of the handwriting class that she took for six years back in high school. Instead of waiting tables on the side, like most struggling artists, Meghan used to do calligraphy for weddings and events. She previously said that handwritten notes are a lost art form and thinks that there's something special about taking the time to put pen to paper. Meghan did the calligraphy for her wedding invites of Robin Thicke and even used to be the calligrapher for Dolce & Gabbana's Holiday Celebrity Correspondence. Deal or no deal? When you're first starting out as an actor, you'll literally take any paid opportunity that comes your way. Megan may be a star now, but she definitely knows what it's like to have a struggling career in the arts. In fact, Megan used to work as a deal or no deal suitcase model. She said that while she looked very glamorous on stage, she was very uncomfortable in the 5-inch heels that she had to wear. She would spend the entire time hoping that her number would be picked soon so that she could go sit down. Megan admits that working on this show was an eye-opener for her because it helped her to realize what she really wanted to do with her life. Blind Date Now that Meghan and Prince Harry are engaged, we thought that it would be a good idea to talk about how they first met. These cuties were actually introduced to each other by a mutual friend. Meghan is good friends with designer Misha Nonu, who used to be married to one of Harry's old school friends. Misha set them up on a blind date because she thought that they would be perfect for each other. Meghan has even admitted that she didn't really know anything about the royal family before their first date. She didn't care much for his prestigious background though, and was more interested in knowing if he was a kind person. Perfect nose. It's not unusual for clients of cosmetic surgeons to bring in pictures of their favorite celebrities. Meghan's face is pretty perfect, so we can understand how some people might lust over her beautiful features. But we had no idea that she was one of the top requests for cosmetic surgeons like Dr. Stephen T. Greenberg. Patients come to him all the time asking for Meghan's nose. In Dr. Greenberg's opinion, the beauty of her nose is that it's not perfect. He says that she has a slight dorsal hump on it, which is not something that most nose job patients want. There also seems to be a direct relationship between the growing requests for her nose and the seriousness of her relationship with Harry. Already royal. Harry is a prince who grew up in London, while Meghan is an actress who was born in LA. Their lives seem so different, but it turns out that they may have more in common than we all previously thought. According to a genealogical report, Meghan and Harry's family trees crossed paths briefly back in the 15th century. This means that they're actually distant cousins. The report found that Meghan's father is a distant relative of Ralph Bowes, the High Sheriff of County Durham, whose grandson moved to the U.S. in 1632. The Bowes that remained in the U.S. married into the Lyon family, and the Lyon family eventually married into the royal family. We had no idea that Meghan was already royal. Rescue Dogs Meghan is the proud owner of two adorable rescue dogs named Bogart and Guy. She never had dogs while she was growing up, but Ellen DeGeneres was the one who convinced her to adopt her first one. She didn't personally know Ellen at the time, but happened to be at a dog rescue shelter at the same time as her. Ellen saw her holding Bogart in her arms and told her that she had to rescue the dog. When Ellen was outside of the shelter on the way to her car, she even turned back around and yelled at Megan to take the dog. So Megan brought him home that day because Ellen DeGeneres told her to. Lifestyle Blogger Did you know that Megan used to be a popular lifestyle blogger? Her blog was called The Tig, and Megan described it as a hub for the discerning palate. Those with a hunger for food, travel, fashion, and beauty. She was inspired to start blogging after she tasted a wine called Tignanello, which is where the name of the blog came from. She sadly shut down the Tig back in 2017, but what we loved most about it was how down-to-earth she seemed in her posts. She once wrote, It wasn't long ago that I only had $40 in my bank account, that I could barely book an audition, and that my circle of friends was even smaller. BFF 
When we try to imagine the kinds of friends that Megan surrounds herself with, we picture her hanging out with other famous actors. That's why we were surprised to learn that she's best friends with pro athlete Serena Williams. These two first met at the direct TV flag football game and have been inseparable ever since. Megan can often be seen rooting for Serena at her tennis games. She also revealed that the tennis pro is her confidant. Serena has even given Megan advice on how to handle the extreme pressure that she's been dealing with since going public with Harry. These two are Def's friendship goals, and we can't wait to see Serena rooting Megan on her big day. Beauty Routine if you're wondering what beauty products Megan religiously uses to keep her skin looking perfect, then you're in for a treat. The top five products that she can't live without are her Shu Yurimura Eyelash Curler, her Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment, her NARS Blush, her Laura Mercier Primer, and her Nivea Body Lotion. What we love about her go-to products is that they're all super affordable for the average person living on a budget. We also love that her favorite beauty secret is to simply drink a lot of water. Megan is proof that you don't need to spend a lot of money on products to make your face look soft and dewy. Estranged siblings. Most people have trouble getting along with their siblings, but did you know that Megan is estranged from her half-siblings? One of the reasons that she doesn't get along with her half-sister Samantha could be because Samantha is planning to write a tell-all book titled The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. Samantha was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis back in 2008 and told the press that Megan has barely spoken to her since. As for Megan's half-brother Thomas, he was arrested at the beginning of 2017 for allegedly holding a firearm up to a woman's head. We get Yes, we'll just have to wait and see if Megan will choose to invite them to her wedding or not. Roasted Chicken There's no secret that Megan is a huge foodie. Her Instagram account is full of pictures of perfectly staged brunch dishes and fancy dinner spreads. But what we like most about her is that she seems to enjoy cooking at home more than she likes to eat out. In fact, her favorite dish to make herself is a perfectly roasted chicken. In her opinion, if you have an Ina Garten level roasted chicken recipe, it's a game changer. She must have really charmed Harry with her chicken and making skills because he even proposed to her while they were in the process of roasting one for supper. We definitely hope that Megan will one day share her winning recipe with the world. Quitting Showbiz now that Meghan is officially going to be part of the royal family, it seems that she is done pursuing a career in the entertainment business. Right after her engagement to Prince Harry, Meghan announced that she would be leaving the hit TV show Suits after seven seasons. But she's not really sad about it. When asked about giving up her career on BBC, she said, I don't see it as giving anything up. I just see it as a change. It's a new chapter. Meghan plans to work more on different humanitarian projects now that she's going to be a royal. We think that Meghan made a valiant decision and can't wait to see what the future has in store for her. That's all for 20 things you didn't know about Meghan Markle. If you want to watch something else, check out 10 celebs who scored way out of their league. Thanks for watching!